All right, I'm gonna look at the, show you the pre-made builds. I don't know what patch, I don't know how many patches ago that they add this to Rift, but All right, I'm gonna look at the, show you the pre-made. It is awesome, I must say. I don't know what patch, I don't know how many patches ago that they add this to Rift, but All right, I'm gonna look at the, show you the pre-made. It is awesome, I must say. I don't know what patch, I don't know how many patches. So when I level, there's a there's a little button here that just says you know add all points and it automatically adds it to the soul tree to the type of uh, way you want to play right now um, just build is a, a support build that I'm doing and it automatically and I love it because I got all these support kind of moves that gives buffs to everybody as you can see on the right side of the screen increase strength intelligence and wisdom to everybody we got a speed to run, and then I got myself buffs, you know, to help fight. I do, even though that I'm playing support class, it does have one time. But of course, the tanks in this game get pissed when I use them. <laughs> um, another thing is, I can do with this other attack power, buff spell, so it's all this kind of stuff. And this does like an AE, it does a damage over time at the same time, but it heals me. Um, and this is an e, uh, AE type spell that gives me the uh, points up to do one of these bigger type moves. And once I got this thing, it does uh, physical damage per attack point, bleeds additional health per attack point. So I've been doing this because it ticks the health away from the mobs. Of course, then I fill them. Once I got this thing, automatically I do fill them all with my debuffs on the bottom bar. So I love this class. And the pet helps for fight. So that's it's pretty cool. They actually revamped the uh, Beastmaster class. That's automatically it's awesome. Now I'm going to show you the other role that I uh, um, trained in. That was this. These are pre-made builds. These ain't stuff that I thought of. It's awesome. Now I'm going to show you the other role that I trained in. That was this. These are and this is the tanking build. Now I'm going to show you the other role. Got my four uh, buffs that I can put on. Then I got self heal. This is the tanking. And then another one that restores Gondor's full health. This gets me out of if I'm rooted. And then I got the two single target uh, taunts and then two two uh, AE taunts. And then my build ups, I got three build up moves. And, I got, and then you just your you know, your regular fighting moves to do damage. So that it's nice, a whole pre made tanking build. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teleport back to the city and since the way the game is set up now that I played from the start, I ended up getting this purse that I got 10% extra uh, money. And I actually make money pretty good in this game. Here's my wardrobe too. I got all this, this wardrobe. And I just earned this for the event that's going on right now. But uh, this is the purse that I got that I really like. That it's helped so you, you start off with way more money it's not like Guild Wars 2 the game but it has evolved and changed they make it more accessible for new players that join the game you start you got money you can play around builds you don't have to wait till almost level 50 to add a couple builds so they changed it to make it to be more fun and as we're gonna go I'm gonna go to the trainer in the main city because that's where they have like city siege rifts that they're invading the cities right now. I think that's a pre thing before the the release of Storm Legion, so we'll look at that right now because I'm gonna get a DPS build, so I'll have all three types of builds. So then when I queue for dungeons, it'll give me advantage. I can queue for tanking, I can queue as uh, support, or I can queue as DPS. So I have three slots that they can fit me in in the queue. So we're gonna go look at that right now. It'll give me advantage. I can queue for tanking, I can queue as uh, support, or I can queue as DPS. So I have three slots that they can fit me in in the queue. So we're gonna go look at that right now. Welcome. 
when they added this porthole, I guess it's for the event. I don't know, because I just started playing a couple days ago again after a year. And it brings me right where the, the event that's going on right now. That's one thing good about Rift. They always did a lot of events all the time. And all the, and the you know, right before I quit, most of the, the event items that you get, get are this count. Pool, I guess it's really accessible. So when you make a halt, you can use them with your halt. So I like that a lot. And it brings me right where I I see you come in the city. See, I can join the adventure. I just hit join. So I'm in here. Might as well. <laughs> Even though I'm not going to really do the thing, you might. When you come into the city and you're going to a trainer or something, you might as well join it. And the reason why is that you'll you'll get um, XP. As you can see, it's popping on my screen automatically. Coins, drops. Of course, you get a lot more if you're you know participating. But as you're wandering around here, fast you to join it as a spot. You might as well do it while you're getting XP as you're doing things. Really nice. thing you might my left quick bars, I usually have my mounts in there, but I just made this bet build before I went to bed last night. So I said, oh, I need a tank to build too. So now we're going to go and get the DPS pre-made build, and then I can show you all the builds that you can choose from right after you, you get in the game and you can pick what build you want to follow and start with that. My left quick bars, I usually have my mounts in there, but I just made this bed build. What do you need of me? Bed last night. I said, oh, I need a tank to build too. So now we're going to so, you know, train, reset my soldier, whatever, purchase a new roll. Right after you do that, I got 11. I'll do it. So I want to have, I want to have at least the, I waited till about 25. Faith level may 25. Give us I strength. bought one last night, Skip. but I want sure, all three rolls. So this way I can be support, this way I can be DPS, and this way I can be, uh, this way I can be, um, um, a tank too. So I'm going to buy it. So three flat. I can assist in your training. Guard this knob. All right. So now I bought a new roll. I waited till about 25. This way I can be support. This way I can now you just yes. This, this way uh, oh, I gotta activate this way it first. Uh. Um, there you go. I think this is this. This was never in the game. This is good for some people. Just want to get on and play and have a little bit of guidance of what exactly they would like to do in the game uh, and not have to worry about if their build is going to be capable of doing damage or tanking and this this way it guides you in the paths so i know this is the warrior this is all i'm going to show today because that's all i made so far because I, I haven't moved my other characters yet i'm waiting for storm legion before i get this was never a new one this is good for some people just want to get on and play. It's like this, you got the default, uh, you know, the um, destroyer class. And it tells you it's an offensive warrior specializing in facing down against multiple opponents at one time. So, this is the damage dealer. And you got the pathfinder. This is what I, I started with until 25 to earn money and do things before I switched to another role. And this is really fun. Because when I first game first came out, Beastmaster, nobody wanted you in the group, nobody understands this about you, but now the game has changed and people uh, know what roles and stuff, and I think it has to do with the soul tree thing. So, so support warrior fights alongside the primary campaign, granting aid to their allies, overriding their foes, foes with steel and cloth. And you got the defender one, black type one, defensive warriors, gets to with over their enemies, defends their allies, fights, it will be longer, but survivability will be greatly increased. So that's what I picked this one for my tanking class. You got another type of, uh, different type of tanking type. 
got a defensive warrior who wields the power of the plane of death and destroys enemies while defending their allies. Fights with long but stable, greatly stable abilities greatly lacking. So another one. And you got this hot light. This is another tanky one. A defensive warrior wields a heavy shield, using it to protect himself. And their allies fights with Ruby Long, but so got another that would be greatly increased. Another DPS one, an offensive warrior specializes going head to head with against a single enemy while defending their allies fights with the long but staples. And you got another support one, a stalker. A support warrior who weakens their enemies with effectiveness of the salvage wounds while fighting alongside their primal companion. So I mean that 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 is awesome. Plus, then as you go, if you don't want to even use a pre-made build, you can do like when the game first started and just make your own build. But I, I, I think the trees are going to be tremendously changed when Storm Legion comes out because they're going to add because they're going to 60, so there's going to be more trees. So, so I'll be able to respect. So I'm not worried that I'm investing the money now. So I didn't mean to say more trees. I meant out more branches that branch out because they're going to level 60, but I think this is awesome. So now I'm going to pick a DPS build that I just paid for. You can do like when the game first started, just make your own build. But I, I, I'm in more of a type of person that I like to do multiple of the ads. So I'm going to go with this and then I'm going to use a two-hander. So I'm going to pick the Destroyer or the Slayer. Respect, so I'm not sure that I'm investing. Money now. I'm gonna go with the destroyer. More branches that branch out. So now all you have to do is this is what I was telling you about before is spend all. Then you hit spend all. And then it puts it right. Right. See, look, it does the build for you. And you're all set. And then you save and exit. I'm gonna go with this. So I'm gonna then you say Okay, so that way when you train, it'll always follow that. And it just put it in the bar, and then I'll set up my bar. But this is a little insight of how, the, how they got automatic pre-made uh, soul trees for people to get in the game, and I think it's a great idea. And the Rift, Rift development team should be proud of themselves that they, they did this, because it'll make new players who get lost, that don't want to tinker, but you can still tinker at the same time and make your own builds. So. I can, I'll give them a, a okay, so that was a great okay for changing this part of the game. And it just put it in the bar. I can't wait for Storm Legion. Seven new dungeons. How they got automatic pre-made soul trees for people to get in the game, and I think it's a great idea. And the Rift, Rift development team should be proud of themselves that they they did this because it'll make new players who get lost that don't want to tinker, but you can still tinker at the same time and make your own. Build. So, I can, I'll give them a